Hi everyone. Today we will discuss the how to derive the length of a open belt drive and length of a cross belt drive. Length of a open belt drive and length of a two. Exam point of view, these two derivations are more important. Length of a open belt drive and length of a cross belt drive. Actually, many things are there. You have to write that one. But simple main important topics are there. What are the how to derive that one? We'll discuss now. So first one will go with the. I already draw the diagram here. Derive the length of a open belt drive. If you know one of the belt drive, open belt drive, automatically in the another one is the cross belt drive. In cross belt drive, only sign changes will be there. Remaining will be same only. If you know one easily, you can go for the another one also. So here, what you have to write before writing this one, only what are the important things are there? I wrote here. What you have to write first, you have to write the. This one is the. This one is the driver pulley. And this one is known as the driven driven pulley. The driver pulley is designated with the letter O1. The driven pulley is designated. This theory all you have to write in your notes. What you have to write? This one is known as the driver pulley. D D R I D R I V E R driver pulley. And this one is known as the D R I V E N driven pulley. This is driver pulley and this is driven pulley. The center of this one is known as O1. The center of this one is known as O2. The center of this one it is known as O1. The center of this two driven pulley is known as uh, and this one is known as pulley. Whatever the distance from here to here, one center of the pulley to another center of the pulley, it's known as X. Another name is there a part is known as X. Another name is there a part. The distance between these two is known as. X. Another name is what is the another name? A part. You can call as a X or another name is a part is there. You can call both also. See the diameter of this pulley. It is known as D1. The diameter of this pulley. It is known as D1. And the diameter of this pulley. It is known as D2. The diameter of this pulley. It is known as D1. The diameter of this pulley. It is known as D2. And the speed of this pulley. The speed of this pulley. It is known as N1 and the speed of this pulley it is known as N2. The speed of this pulley it is known as N2. Diameter of this pulley it is known as D1. Diameter of this pulley it is known as D2. The speed of this pulley it is known as N1. The speed of this pulley it is known as N2. And whatever the radius is there from center of the pulley to the left side end of the pulley it is known as R1. And this radius it is known as R2. This radius it is known as R2 and between this whatever the distance is there, the distance is known as x. Another name is there a part x or another name is there. What is the another name? A part. So like this you have to write the pulley. Let us derive the uh, length of a open belt drive. So length of a open belt drive. For that first you have to write this theory. First you have to write this theory. So this one is known as driver and this one is known as driven. The center of this one is known as O1 and the center of this one is known as O2. The diameter of this one is known as D1. The diameter of a driven pulley it is known as D2. This one is known as driver and this one is known as follower or driven. The distance from here to here it is known as X. Another name is there A part and this radius is known as R1 and this radius as you can see here. And this radius from here to here, whatever the radius is there, that one is known as R2. And this between this, it is known as X. And this one is known as R1. And this one is known as R2. L like this, you have to write in theory all that thing. After that, you have to write R1 and R2 are the radius of the larger and smaller pulley. This one is known as larger pulley, and this one is known as smaller pulley. This one is known as the larger pulley and this one is known as the smaller pulley. As exam point of view, these derivations are most important for open belt drive and cross belt drive. So here many things are there in between that. But what are the important keys are there that one only I am showing you. So please concentrate here. So first what you have to remember X. X is known as distance between the center of the pulley. This center to this center, whatever the distance is there, that one is known as X. From this center to this center, whatever the distance is there, that one is known as X. After that, you have to remember one thing. What is the remember? L, L is known as total length of the pulley. L is known as the total length of the belt, total length of the 
belt how much belt length is there starting from here and ending from here starting from this point and ending from this point how much length is there that one is known as l so first you have to remember sin alpha sin alpha is equal to r1 minus r2 by x you have to by heart this one or with the help of derivation you will get this one so better to sin alpha is equal to remember this one r1 minus r2 by x if you consider the je if you consider the this one is j and this one e if you consider the angle between these two if you consider the angle this between these two so what is the value r1 pi by 2 plus alpha r1 pi by 2 plus alpha if you consider f and k if you consider f and k that side so here r1 is there here what will come r2 pi by 2 minus alpha this is r1 pi by 2 plus alpha and this is r2 pi by 2 minus alpha so first you have to consider for the driver pulley for driver pulley this equation will be generated for the driven pulley this equation will be generated with the help of simple uh, simplification angles you can find out the sin theta is equal to uh, sorry sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent with the help of the three formulas easily you will get the uh, that uh, equation so better to remember this one sin alpha is equal to r1 minus r2 by x and je is equal to r1 by pi by 2 plus alpha and fk is equal to r2 by pi by 2 minus alpha this is for je and this one for fk after that ef also you have to consider ef also you are e and f you have to consider what is the formula for under root of x square minus r1 minus r2 whole square what is the formula under root of x square minus r1 minus r2 whole square so in that what i am doing this x square is there inside inside the root here square is there if you bring outside it will become x only here inside what is there square is there if you bring outside it will become x only x under root of 1 minus r1 minus r2 by x whole is square so here x is not there you took the x as common you took the x as common so x you have to take under root of 1 minus r1 minus r2 x by whole is square after that x write on as it is squaring on both sides so square root will get cancelled x minus r1 minus r2 whole square by 2x so what will come here 2x so let it be this is your equation 1 and this one is your equation 2 this one is your equation 2 let it be this one is your equation 2 and this one is your equation 3 and this one is your equation 1 equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 how many equation you got 3 equation so what you have to do you have to add here equation 1 plus equation 2 plus equation 3 equation 1 plus equation 2 plus equation 3 2 why I am considering here 2 by taking the 2 side so after that L is equal to 2 write down as it is this R1 will be multiplication of this one as well as this one so here I can write pi by 2 R1 plus alpha R1 x write down as it is minus write down as it is r1 minus r2 whole square by this is 2x 2x also write down as it is then write down here plus here you can write pi by 2 r2 minus alpha by r2 alpha by r2 remaining term things are r remaining terms are as it is only here r1 into pi by 2 then r1 into alpha next one is r2 into pi by 2 next one is r2 into alpha then after that what you have to do bring the all terms at one side okay now bring all pi 2 here pi by 2 is there and here pi by 2 is there so l write down as it is 2 write down as it is pi by 2 r1 plus pi by 2 r2 right then here plus write down as it is alpha 1 then minus alpha this is alpha 2 then plus x write down as it is minus here r1 minus r2 by square by 2x so what you have to do first this is pi by 2 and this pi by 2 both the terms you have to write at this side then alpha r1 and here what is there minus alpha r2 so here alpha r1 minus alpha 
R2 then X write on as it is this term write on as it is after that L is equal to 2 here you can take the pi by 2 common if you take pi by 2 common the answer will be R1 plus R2 here you can take the alpha common if you take alpha common R1 minus R2 then X as it is here you can write R1 minus R2 whole square by 2x R1 minus R2 whole square by 2x like this you can expand first what you have to take common pi by 2 then you have to take the common alpha first one is the pi by 2 second one is the alpha okay after getting this one what you have to do in place of alpha as you can see here as you can see here here alpha is there what is there here alpha I wrote here sin alpha what is the sin alpha sin alpha is equal to r1 minus r2 by x so alpha is also equal to r1 minus r2 by x in place of alpha you can write r1 minus r2 by x so l write on as it is 2 write on as it is pi by 2 write on as it is r1 plus r2 plus in place of alpha what you have to write r1 minus r2 by x write on as it is what is this one r1 minus r2 plus x minus here r1 minus r2 by 2x this is whole square ok now here till here square is there till here what is there square is there L is equal to pi by 2 R1 plus R2 plus R1 minus R2 x by R1 minus R2 plus x minus R1 minus R2 whole square by 2x. Next step L write on as it is 2 write on as it is pi by 2 also write on as it is R1 plus R2 also write on as it is. Here you can write R1 minus R2 whole square by x here r1 minus r2 and here also r1 minus r2 so r1 minus r2 whole square by x plus write on as it is x minus r1 minus r2 whole square by this is the 2x this one is the 2x next step you have this 2 is there this 2 you have to multiply inside with this term with this term with this term and with this term okay na next uh, l is equal to if you multiply 2 here so it will become 2 pi by 2 here r1 plus r2 write on as it is here 2 into r1 minus r2 whole square by here x is there plus 2 into next 2 into r1 minus r2 whole square by 2 into x this 2 this 2 will get cancel this 2 this 2 will get cancel then n is equal to what is this pi r1 plus this is r2 plus 2 into r1 minus r2 whole square by x write down here plus this is 2x minus r1 minus r2 whole square by x this one as it is if you focus on this as you can see here here plus 2 is there and here minus 1 is there here plus 2 is there and here minus 1 is there. So, in place of that you can write L is equal to pi R1 plus R2 R1 plus R2. The next step plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 is equal to plus 1 only. So, here you can write plus R1 minus R2 whole square by x. Then next plus 2x you can write on as it is in place of this one and this one plus 2 and minus 1 r1 minus r2 whole square by x r1 minus r2 whole square by x so this is the length of a open bell drive this one is the length of a open bell drive this r1 and r2 can be converted into d1 and d2 also this how to convert this one l is equal to pi here you can write d1 by 2 plus d2 by 2 d1 plus 2 by d2 plus 2 here you can write d1 by 2 plus minus what you have to write here minus d2 by 2 whole square by x plus write down 2x is as it is only 2x is as it is then l is equal to pi by 2 here you can write d1 plus d2 plus here 
d1 minus d2 whole square by 2 to the 4x what you have to write 4x into 2x now this one in terms of radius in terms terms of radius r a d i o u s and this one in terms of diameter in terms of diameter diameter for length of the open belt drive and length of the cross belt drive this one is the derivation for the length of a open belt drive derive the length of a open belt drive two pulleys are given these things you have to remember after that simplification is there after that what is there simplification is there if you solve that one you will get the easily length of a open belt drive pi by 2 d1 plus d2 by d1 minus d2 whole square by 4x plus 2x this is the length of a open belt drive length of a open belt drive now same derivation is there nothing i am changing here only the need is to change the diagram only the need is to change the diagram derive the length of a cross belt drive next one is the length of a cross belt drive see this one is known as the open belt drive this one is known as the open belt drive see this one is known as the open belt drive as you can see this one is the driver this one is the driven and belt will come like this and it will go like this this is the center of the belt so this one is known as open belt belt derived this one is known as open belt drive if you consider this one and if you consider this one like this will come and like this will go so this one is known as the cross c r o s s e d cross b e l t belt d r i v e derived this one is known as the so first one is known as the open belt drive the second one is known as the cross belt drive if you know the open belt drive easily you can solve the cross belt drive also if you know the open belt drive easily you can go for the cross belt drive so what is the difference between open belt drive and cross belt drive open belt drive and cross belt drive as you can see here derive the length of a cross belt drive if cross belt drive is there this one is known as the first you have to write the theory same theory you can write what you wrote in the open belt drive same theory is there only the difference is there in that diagram what is the difference in that diagram is there so this one is known as the driver and this one is known as the driven and this one is known as the tight side and this one is known as the slack side and this one is known as the o1 and this one is known as the o2 center of the pulley one is known as o1 center of the pulley two is known as o2 center of the pulley one is known as o1 center of the pulley two is known as o2 and here whatever the angle is getting that one is known as g and this one is known as e and this one is known as f and this one is known as k e here how it is rotating clockwise and this one is also rotating clockwise whatever the distance is there between this two pulleys that one is known as x center of this pulley to the center of this pulley it is known as x the radius is known as this one r1 the radius of this one is known as r2 the radius of this one is known as r1 the radius of this one is known as r2 the radius of this one is known as r1 the radius of this one is known as yeah, this one is known as the driver and this one is known as the driven driver pulley and this one is known as the driven pulley so what you have to do r1 r2 r1 and r2 is the radius of the larger and smaller pulley same thing you have to write x is known as the distance between the center of the pulley l is known as the total length of the belt l is known as the total length of the belt so what you have to do sin alpha is equal to r1 plus what you have to take here r1 plus r2 by x what you have to write here sin alpha is equal to r1 plus r2 by x here arc j e you have to consider as plus and arc a f is also you have to consider as plus here also plus is there and here also plus is there here also plus is there and here also plus and in between that here also plus and here also plus and here also plus you have to remember in cross everything as it is here plus is there here plus is there and here plus is there after that what you have to do l is equal to 2 into equation 1 plus equation 2 plus equation 3 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 and this one is the equation 3 this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and this is equation 
3. So, equation 1 plus equation 2 plus equation 3. So, I wrote here equation 1 and this one is my equation 2 plus and this one is my equation 3 plus. Okay, now you have to change the sign in cross belt drive. You have to change the sign. So, here I wrote the plus and here also I wrote the plus. After that, this R1 you have to multiply with this term and this R1 you have to multiply with alpha. Here also this R2 you have to multiply with this term and this R2 you have to multiply with this term till you got here. Here pi by 2 is there and here also pi by 2 is there. Bring both the pi by 2 at one side and here alpha term is there and here alpha term is there. Bring the alpha term at one side and whatever the remaining term, this is the remaining term. Remaining term you can write down here as it is with a sign of plus, with a sign of plus. If you can absorb here, if you absorb here, what is here? Pi by 2 is there in here, pi by 2 is there. Can you take the pi by 2 common? If you took the pi by 2 common, so this is R1 and this one is the R2. If you absorb here, here R1 is there and here R2 is there. Take this one is as it is. Then sin alpha is equal to, next one is the sin alpha is equal to, what is the next one? Sin alpha is equal to R1 plus R2 by x. From where you got? From here you got sin alpha is equal to r1 plus r2 by x sin alpha is equal to r1 plus r2 by x so here you wrote sin alpha is equal to r1 plus r2 by x so in alpha also equal to r1 plus r2 alpha is also equal to r1 plus r2 by x next after getting that things what you have to do next one is the same this one write down as it is two write down as it is pi by 2 r1 plus r2 plus then here this term, this term, see here in place of alpha you can write R1 plus R2 by x. So, here you can write R1 plus R2 by x. Here you can write R1 plus R2 by x. Previously it is minus, minus for cross belt drive, plus for open belt drive, sorry minus for open belt drive, plus for cross belt drive, okay. So, here this one also plus will come, here also plus will come and here also plus will come and this x is as it is and this term is also as it is. After 2 write down as it is, pi by 2 write down as it is, r1 plus r2 write down as it is, plus write down as it is. Here you can write r1 plus r2, r1 plus r2, r1 plus r2 whole is square, x write down as it is, plus write down as it is, x write down as it is, minus r1 minus r2 whole is square by 2x r1 minus r2 whole square by 2a then this 2 multiply with this term this 2 multiply with this term this 2 this 2 multiply with this term and the 2 this multiply with this term totally 1 2 3 4 4 terms are there so here also you have to multiply here also you have to multiply here also you have to multiply and here also you have to multiply after multiplication what the, this 2 2 will get cancelled here also 2 2 will get cancelled this term is as it is pi r1 plus r2 plus 2 r1 minus r2 whole square by x this 2x is as it is and this one is also as it is but the thing is that here it will come plus here also it will come plus this is also plus this one is also plus this one is also plus and here also plus here also plus here also plus wherever you are getting minus that one you have to convert it into plus in which belt drive cross belt drive. Suppose it is open belt drive, no need to change here. So, this one in terms of radius, this term, this one in terms of radius. So, in place of R1 you can write D1 by 2, in place of R2 you can write D2 by 2, here also in place of R1 D1 by 2, in place of R2 D2 by 2. So, here 2 to 4, here 2 to 4, 2 to the 4. So, here you will get 4 outside. So, in terms of diameter, if you want to find out in terms of diameter and this one in terms of radius. So, the, if you know the open belt drive, easily you can go for the cross belt drive. The difference between these two is, it's simple only. Whenever the open is there, you have to go like this. Whenever the cross is there, you have to go for like this.